Ubiest of the tubiest. <laughs> God damn, start over. <laughs> You're getting me all choked up. <laughs> Ubiest of the tubiest. That's you. And I'm 50 plus. You guys have gotten me stuffed out with this gumbo, man. I mean, I, I got to keep eating it because I, I can't get back to a terminal. And I don't want to waste food, so I got to keep eating it. I done been eating it for a couple of days. Uh, lunch and dinner. But it's, it's goddamn good, so I can't really complain. Today I'm going to take a break and make your fish and shrimp. <laughs> Real quick before we get started on the cooking, um, I'm able to do this today and uh, actually catch up on some business um, because uh, my next load doesn't pick up until tomorrow morning. And actually, it's a live load that loads at 10 a.m. So it's now um, just shy of 10, 10 a.m. Uh, and so it's it's like 24 hours that I got to be sitting here to before I go get my next load. So you know, you know, another day, uh, other week, I was like damn near 600 miles running every day, and uh, this week is gonna suck ass. So every I don't want you guys to think that you're gonna come out here and run like that every every day or every week or expect. To be you know driving 500 miles a day most of you and i'm just gonna be quite honest with you most of you ain't gonna drive 500 500 miles a day anyway you know that's that's more than an eight hour day of work and most people just ain't gonna do it and i you know i don't i don't hold anything against you i'm just telling you this is reality reality is you ain't gonna you, a lot of you're not gonna do it you go even if you you meant to it with me you probably you're gonna have a better opportunity better chance at it because i'm gonna teach you some different habits but um those are you that aren't you know if you don't get the right mentor and then you, you shit you, you do you're gonna do what your mentor does and if your mentor lay in the bed till goddamn 10 a.m that's what the shit you're gonna do and you get that habit and you know that's what works that's all you know that's what you're gonna do so again, a lot of you are not going to do it. You know, you're not going to run like that. But for those that that will, even if you weren't with me, those that will, I just want you to know that every, you know, every, every day ain't sunshine. Every day ain't going to be able to uh, run it. And it ain't always going to be there. And that's what the fact is. I'm in a location where... Uh, the planners are telling me there's not much load and, and uh, much freight to get out of here and they're going to try to move me uh, to an area where uh, there is some freight so tomorrow I'm going to move again uh, I, I, remember I got a load it's 10 a.m. and then it exact drops which means uh, it's a drop I don't have to be live unloaded and the window of of drop is 1 a.m. tomorrow morning till midnight tomorrow so that's all day all day so I can and then some bitch is only 148 miles away it's gonna suck ass man I mean it's gonna suck I'm only gonna be able to drive um and get paid for this week uh, for through tomorrow uh for tomorrow sorry uh 148 loaded miles and it's 40 miles uh to the destination that's what it pays 40 miles i could almost see the location from where i'm sitting right now because i drove right on top of it and stopped 
I mean, they wanted a bunch of a bunch of hours for tomorrow to run. Okay. Oh man, I, I think my yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my, my lighting is going to look like right now. The truck that was parked next to me just pulled off. So, uh, anyways, I just want to tell you, you know, I don't want you guys to think that you come out here and it's going to be, you know, glitter and gold every day. And if any goddamn YouTuber only telling my, oh yeah, you can come out here and make millions of dollars and all that shit, but, but, but that's a bunch of goddamn bullshit. There is no. There's no, you know, rainbow in trucking that ends in a pot of gold that you're gonna, you know, do. What you can do, what you can do is go out here and make a damn good living. You can make enough money truck driving to actually have a very nice retirement. That is out here, you know? You know, this, you know, come out here and in six months start a goddamn fleet. Look, what the fuck, you know, these people on, on, on YouTube got two trucks calling it a fleet. They so goddamn stupid. Don't believe that shit, okay? Don't follow that. That's a bunch of ridiculousness that eventually you're going to see fail. So anyways, that's the truth. I mean, I tell you everything you want to hear, but I am going to tell you what the truth is, and, and, and that's just the truth. This week, I'm probably going to earn less than five hundred dollars less than five hundred dollars right now i'm owed one trip that i completed and it pays 225 dollars and then another one that's going that i'm going to turn in about 200 miles i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make less than 500 dollars this week so um <laughs> now, the week before, I made more than two grand. So, it, it, I guess it balances out, right? So, that's what you can expect. Now, let's get to cooking. Fish and scrimps. Okay, so what I'm about to do right now, again, it is uh, right, just at, just before 10 a.m. And this is going to be dinner. We ain't gonna, we're going to eat some more gumbo for lunch. So, this is dinner. But what I like to do with my fish and shrimp is to um, clean it, rinse it off very well, and then um, marinate it and then put it back in the refrigerator for the rest of the day. So um, this is what I marinate my fish and shrimp in, okay? Let me see if I can get it in there. There it is. And you can use any type of uh, Italian dressing. That's what I use. And I like it, you know, for a couple of reasons. One, it uh, fish it tends to uh, get a little aroma to it once it's uh, uh, right after it's caught, man. I mean, that's just a fact. You know, I've been on shrimp boats. I've shrimped and and uh and caught shrimp and took it home that day and if i'm telling you right now if i kill it on the boat galveston bay drive you know 25 30 miles to my house the shrimp i already have a, a little slight smell to it that's just that's, that's how fish smell i mean that's just the shrimp smell it's just that just just it okay after a couple of days it begins to become more it can become stronger and uh and it can enhance the flavor in a negative way but after you wash it and clean it up real good uh you you can kind of uh get a little bit that away it, and it's what that is to be straight honest with you and i don't give a shit what kind of food it is i don't give a shit. i don't even eat me and i'm a vegetarian your goddamn trees decay also so don't give me no goddamn shit mr vegetarian uh keto asshole this is the truth the, what you're smelling is the bacteria from the from the meat as it's beginning to decay that is a fact i know it sounds fucked up but someday your ass is going to take your last breath. And the second you take your last breath, your body is going to start to decay. It's called rigor mortis. This is a fact, okay? It's a fact of life. 
and don't worry about it but that smell that's what that is okay so you wash it and when you wash it it's small smelling a lot better but the uh, oils and the spices in Italian dressing I've found that it um, makes it uh, it lifts some of the some of that off and and then I, uh, I I rinse it back off again before I put the seasonings on it that I'm gonna cook it in okay so that was a long story but that's the reason why you I don't want you to skip that step I always wash your food I don't give a damn and I don't, don't use goddamn you know dishwashing liquid and shit and so yeah I'm, I'm talking about a rinse it with water y'all know what I'm talking about hell when you're on the truck you just you know get you a big you know jug of water and clean your stuff up okay so that's what i'm gonna do then i'm going to uh i'm going to put put this italian dressing on them and then i'm gonna wrap them in foil and then i'm gonna put them back in the refrigerator so you guys won't see me again until i'm ready to prepare them for uh to cook <laughs> listen goddamn swift Goddamn swift. I I literally got out of my truck to wash that goddamn fish off. I got back in my truck, bling, 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 bling on a call call. Then my phone ring, my dispatcher. Hey, I took that shit load off of you. This motherfucker they put on my ass, look. Hold on. This stuff is going to make to, to to Laredo, Texas. I'm in goddamn Illinois. The goddamn load is 1,400 miles. Boom! Goddamn it. We finna roll. I'm gonna get this this shit. This goddamn fish marinated. We finna drive. We finna run this motherfucker. And listen, this is gonna be. Uh, you know what? This is gonna make this two two goddamn videos because I want y'all to get this information right now. I told you. Y'all, y'all, I'm, you know, when shit happens, I'm kind of. I want to make sure that sucker cleared me. Um, when shit happens, I want to, I, 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 I let y'all know. I just told you, hey, it ain't always peaches and cream. You're going to have to goddamn take some fucking bad days with the good days, right? I just said that shit. I just said it, and boom, the shit turned around. Now, I ain't, it, it ain't gonna turn around every time, but you got to be, you know, you can't bitch, you can't, you can't have a fucked up attitude because it's, you know, it may not be going your way right then, okay? But I'm, I'm happy, the motherfucker. I guess you can tell, right? We've been a roll, and 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 then uh, this video is gonna be basically a little bit of that, okay? You're not gonna come out here and kill it every time. You're just not. Okay. Every day ain't gonna be a goddamn winner. You got to take some, you know, and, and you're gonna get some in return. That's just that's just how it is. Okay. There's no way. It's gonna suck. There's no way uh, that I can run 1,400 miles in a day and a half. It just it don't it don't work. This, this motherfucker got a, a jet engine on the bottom of it. And you know what, man? What is this fucked up? It's my cruise control don't work. So the fastest I can drive is 63 miles an hour. It's got a, I know it, I know it's got no light on. But the good thing is from Laredo, I can go to Salt Lake and get into a new truck. So, <clears throat> bottom line, guys. Fuck Swift Transportation, bro. You know, I made a video a while back. And... People ask me why come I chose Swift, and I basically said, well, when I was making my decision, um, I, I I did the same thing I tell you guys to do. I look for a company that's going to give me what I need to reach my end game, and uh, Swift did it, and 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 uh, and uh, I also chose them. And then there was other ones like Maverick and a couple of them that I could have almost went with that uh, I could have gone with in Texas and um, it was a Baylor. I can't remember. I 
I can't remember. Well, it's one of them. And, uh, and I even thought about going to uh, uh, Crete or, or uh, oh man, Prime. And, uh, uh, but, I, you know, I don't want to go out of the state to get my license and shit, so Swift worked out really well for me. And the reason why I went with Swift over the, the smaller companies, and people say, well, you know, you got to get a small guy to try it. Look, this, what happened today is the reason why I was told you I'll go with the big guy, because I know chances are when freight gets low, I ain't going to be sitting. I ain't saying that shit because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm in business, bro. I understand how business work. I understand how things work. I understand highs and lows. And the shallow is a lot less with a with a company as big as Swift. Okay. We say, well, it's relative because Swift may have a lot of freight in the low time, but they also got a lot of mouths to feed, a lot of trucks out there they got to feed, right? You're right. Who you think they're going to feed first? The motherfucker who driving a thousand miles a week or the motherfucker driving 3,000 miles a week? Who would you rather them see leave if they had to go? Make yourself valuable. Get up off your ass. Get out the bunk and run. They 1,500 motherfucking miles. Come on, that's a team run. It's a team run. They gave that motherfucker to me because I don't goddamn sit on my ass. In fact, I got to go in there and, and uh, leave this petrol some stuff I don't want no more. And then I'm finna burn some fuel. See what I see you tonight because I'm going to cook the food. Here we go. Boop. Hey, everybody. 50 plus here. What do I do when my recruiter won't return my calls? They're lying to me. They don't have answers to the questions I'm asking. Problem is, once I get those questions, it's already too late. Industry standard. Once a recruiter has got you, they got you. You belong to them. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you my recruiter's information. Her name is Autumn, and if you're thinking about joining Swift, that's who I want you to contact. You give her a call. She's going to send you through the process. Eventually, you're going to wind up on a mentor's truck. When you get in that truck, you're going to be in that truck for 200 hours. For 200 hours, I want your phone in the bunk. If you're willing to do that, I'm going to send you a Blue Pirate headset. You need to let Autumn know 50 Plus sent you. 